Okay. Remember, Agent 36, the mission is yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. To remotely observe the target and report its whereabouts. So, what does this guy look like? Let's see here. Uh, according to his profile, he has a large build, approximately in his 30s. He's usually seen wearing a corduroy jacket, and every once in a while likes to read the afternoon paper. He's sitting right in front of me. What? Oh my god. Do you even know what he Cooper means? Refresh my memory. It's an adjective that means to be hidden or undercover. Oh. All right, I'm Pete Cooper. Ah, get the buyer. So, which sentence uses the word covert correctly? Um, dot, which one uses covert correctly? A or B? A. A, the agent tried to keep his mission covert behind, me, behind a tree. I think that's uh, that, that's correct. Right? Option B is incorrect because it doesn't make sense for the newspaper man's newspaper to be covert or secret. Next one. Which of the following people is performing a covert action? Right? A, a dedicated weather person tracking a major hurricane. B, a cowboy tries to wrangle a frightened horse into a stall. C, a little sister snoops through her older brother's backpack. Snoop Dogg. which one is it? C. C, or Snoop Dogg. Okay, option A and B are incorrect because the weather person and the cowboy's actions are dedicated and brave. Not covert. Okay. Card number two. Introduce written comments. Okay, so I've read all of your guys' solos, and I read some of your other work too, but I forget if I commented on that. But basically, if you click the three dashes up here, right here, if you click those, you'll have a spot in tools where it says my work. And if you click on that, you can read my comments. So click my work. You guys are on it, you're just not clicking it. Let's go. Click let's go. Okay. Now you see I gave you a score out of five on your solos. Now when you logged into Amplify the first time, you might have gotten a message saying teacher left you feedback. Did anybody get that? Okay, we well, nice and time. So I I gave you a comment and I grade gave you a grade out of five. Now that grade will be in Canvas. So you know Wednesday you did those solos and um, you didn't have anything to turn in there, so I clicked the link. So I graded it in Amplify, then went back and put the grade into Canvas out of 10. So if you got a 3 and a 6, which is impossible, it's the best you can get a 5. So that was a bad example. So if you get a 3 and a 5, your grade in Canvas would be 8 out of 10. If you actually click on the solo, you can read it. It takes you to the writing, and then takes it to my comments. Click on that piece of feedback thing again. Okay. Click 
Sometimes the comments don't say it, only gives a number. I didn't go through and make these comments and not show up. That stinks. Try your other one. See my comments or not? Yeah. Okay. Well, you just saw the numbers? Yeah. Did you actually click on the prompt? I found on all of them. All right, so that's that. So if I leave you a comment and you want to see what it was, you go to my work, and that's that's where it is. So we're done with that. Card number three. Class, present, telling versus showing. This is my least favorite part of the day. I have to act things up for you guys. You guys have these boxes right here? Yeah, so you should say, watch your teacher, observe what he or she does, and list anything you notice. I haven't started yet. Then you have to say, what is your teacher feeling? And then how do you know? You guys ready for this? Yeah. Marley's dropping stuff. She's throwing stuff all over the place. All right. I'm going to say action when I'm going, okay? You guys ready for this? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Action. I am nervous. I am nervous. Okay. End scene. Write what you write what you saw. End scene. No way. I think What did I do? List what you noticed. What did I feel? How did you know? I need to wash my mask. That's why I'm wearing a medical mask. All my cloth ones are stinky. Go out in football, I have to wear my mask and I sweat. It's why do you have to do that? You're outside. Like when we're in a huddle. 
I take it off like when I'm yelling or throwing. Like sometimes I throw a football this season. Because I had a because I had a cannon. No, we're supposed to play next week. Have you? No, I think first of all, we do waves here. You do what? Waves. Oh, so see who's too big to run the ball. Martinsville. John Wooden. At Martinsville. We're at the height center. Wait, you guys are going to go to the playing game? Why? There's six grade team last year. It was so tall and so strong. They destroyed it. That's what I heard. I heard they're really good. We popped games. They just showed the bags. It's okay. We'll get them this year. All right, you guys ready? Are you still tight enough? I'm getting ready for my second act. <clears throat> Did you sneeze into the mask? Do you need a new one? Why don't I? Because it's like pantyhose. <laughs> I also have, well, I also have, what's a glove? Oh, that's not mask. <laughs> All I got is pantyhose. <laughs> and gloves. I have gloves in case I have to put the mask on you, I guess. In case you have no arms. I have gloves in case I have to. Clean. Okay. Uh, click next. And so you should be on number two now, and I'm going to get ready for my second act. Uh. You guys ready? I am too. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. okay. Action. Guys, okay, so we got a really big date tonight. Ew, well, he's panicking. I got. I can't, I can't stop thinking about it. Uh huh? I thought you said you kissed up. No, I said I got a really big date tonight. I don't want to hear that. That's too much information. That's gross. Dates are gross. No, no, I was like, what I, was this? I dropped, I dropped my keys. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I dropped my keys, I'm biting my nails. I'm not making eye contact. We're in a magnet eye. This is just an empty classroom. Alright, I'm done. Uh, look down. I had to look at it to see if you guys were paying attention. If um, if you were my sister, I would have said, "Did I ask?" Same. <laughs> I was just trying to come up with an example for you guys. I couldn't come up with anything. <laughs> Yesterday, I used the principals coming in to teach or to watch me, and I was nervous. I'll use that one again this afternoon since this one didn't go over well. <laughs> Observe. What did I do? List anything you noticed. What was I feeling? How do you know?
Sorry, remote learners. Usually, my performances are better than that. Hey. Usually, I'm a fun guy. Uh, usually, he's a Broadway star. So. You ever talking about gross things? Gross things? It's not even that gross. You just said what's going on. Yeah, I know. We're not going to break it. This is how kindergarten is real. Okay. Yeah, kindergarten is the worst. I was yeah, trying to I was trying to relate to you guys. I'm a preschooler. Because you're middle schoolers. You guys have crushes and things. Yeah, but no, but you know. They're middle schoolers. They're not real. Brain has to pretty not do that because it's not a uh, dress code approved to have a hat on. It's a mask. It's a mask. It's not a hat. And he's wearing it as a hat. What does it look like a hat? Okay. Card number three says, or not card, bottom, number three on card number three, okay? We're talking about showing versus telling here, okay? My first little act I did, I just told you I was nervous. Well, my second act, instead of telling, I showed you, or at least tried to show you, okay? So... They want me to put some things on the board. You can do that to compare. So things you notice, there's not a whole lot, but things you notice from my first performance. Xavier. Uh, I noticed that I, uh, you said you were nervous. Yes. I was the other classes were mean things they said to me. Anything else from the first act besides I said I was nervous? Okay, now the second time, what are some things that I did? Huh? You stood straight on the first one. I did, I was okay, yeah, that's good. How was that good? Not it's a good observation. I was not pacing, because this time I was pacing. Yes, guys, you were talking to the uh, You're talking to yourself. Uh, you were, uh, you were making eye contact with the other You were making eye contact with the other Yeah. Why did you do this? 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 Hard to bite your own teeth. I don't know. I mean, I chomp on my teeth, but I can't actually chew my own teeth. I was biting my nails. That'd be true. I'm asking the agent. Oh, oh yeah, I see. Okay, I have pacing, talking to yourself, no eye contact, biting nails, drop keys. What else? Oh, your head was down. And you dropped stuff. I said drop keys. How do you have to read that? I can't read that. That's worse than mine. And you're talking about having a big wow for you, I'm sure. People are usually in the dirt. No, it's not going to be worse. I don't even go on the kids anymore. Was that like you? Yeah, for four years. You don't go on the kids anymore. I go to, I teach in here and she goes to dental school and then we do it again tomorrow, or Monday. Okay, card number four. Can you identify, or bottom of card number three, number four of card number three. Can you identify one precise verb from the list of observations? Okay, so a verb is like an action, so like run, walk. So a precise, a better verb would be like sprint instead of run. I sprinted, or instead of I, I don't know, come up with a precise verb. 
Instead of laughed, I giggled or chuckled. Oh, I cackled. Oh, I cackled. Write something in there, unless you've already did it. Can you identify one precise verb from the list of observations? Yeah. A good one is, I didn't walk, I... Wait. Instead of just I talk to myself, maybe I mutter. I mumble. Oh. I think you guys all like the good ones. You almost ran into a door. Did I? No, you didn't. He was standing by the door. Lack of spatial awareness. That's not a verb, though. Talking to the moon. Talking to the moon. Yeah, Bruno Mars talking to the moon. You guys ever heard that song? Nope. I'll play it for a <laughs> Please don't. Okay. Click next. Now you guys have a little writing to do. Write three three showing sentences to describe what I did, said, and or looked like that showed that I was nervous. So you have to use showing here, not telling. Okay? I want you to pretend that you're writing this to a friend that did not see what I did. Do you want that friend to feel... My nerves. nerves. Yeah, how nervous I was. My nerves. Mm. Just want to add to that. Jay Watt. <laughs> Dot is squinting up my handwriting from the phone. Yeah, it's just you. She, she has. And she forgot it. Oh. Doesn't she every day, though? I uh, need her glasses that you always forget. What's going on in a week? Oh, she broke. Huh? What'd you do? Hey, don't worry about it. Hey, focus. Here we go. Come on.
go one more minute. Go ahead and hand it in when you're done. You're still finishing up, that's okay. Card number four at the top. All that does is show you how many words you wrote in the previous writing response. So, uh, Xavier, how many words did you write in the last response? Does it tell you? Card number four up top. Words. Yeah. Okay, well, write more. It just wants you to write more this time. That's dumb. I think it tells you at the end. It does. Oh, maybe. Anyway, so card number four, it just shows you how many words you wrote in the first lesson that we did because we want you to write more this time. So today's writing assignment, today's prompt, personally, I think it's the best prompt we've had so far because the first one asked you to write about, what was it, lunch, well, we don't even really eat lunch, and then school, well, heck, we're hardly even in school, and then the only friends you got are the people in here, all we have is each other. Yeah, I got all the friends. Okay, so I'm going to give you some brainstorming ideas to write about. Okay, we're going to write about a time using precise details in which you were nervous. So, I'm going to give you some potential things just to think about. You don't have to raise your hand, but I'm going to start it with raise your hand if. So, raise your hand if you were nervous entering a new school or class for the first time. If you weren't sure where to sit for lunch one day. Well, I put you where this would be you were worried you would make a mistake when a teacher called on you in class. You felt nervous before or after, a, before or during a sports game. You felt nervous before or during a performance you were in. You felt nervous doing something for the first time, like being home by yourself or taking a bus. Oh, that was exciting. That was fun. Yeah, no, I don't believe that one. So. Okay, so those are some things that you could could write about. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the emotion chart. So, only I have access to that. Oh, that's boring. That's boring. That makes me sad. Actually, I'm pretty sure if you go back to lesson brief, you can see it. But don't go back there. Okay, so, make, make me feel something. Probably nervous. Where's nervous at? Terrified or scared? That'd be a good one. Because you're kind of nervous if you're terrified. Oh, there it is. Nervous. Make your mouth wiggle. Okay. Some of your guys' solos, you didn't write very much. You got 12 minutes. Use all your time. Yeah, you guys get a lot louder after PE and realize that. Go. No talking. No talking. 
right about a time when you were nervous. A moment when you were nervous. We don't want to write about the whole day. We want to write about a particular moment of time in that day. All right, virtual learners, logging off.